So I'm part of the organization Arts in Bushwick, which hosts Bushwick Open Studios. It's a three-day event that's hosted in Bushwick, Brooklyn, every year. And the premise is to um, really bring the community together, but also to host a large open studio event. And there's something really novel in that idea of really getting to know the artists, getting to know their process, and that very intimate experience of walking into the studio space, or even the gallery or the event, and building a personal connection with the work. And I wanted to take that idea and bring it to the digital realm. I feel like one doesn't really need to be present in order to build that relationship or that familiarity. So I think that Gallery Glass has been successful in doing that, and I hope that it will create a platform for other organizations or anybody with the device, Google Glass, I do think it was successful. I think that um, it has a long way to go, just like the device. It's in its beta phase. You know, this was a, a first round um, trial process, 30 artists or curators in 30 days. And I um, was really happy to have, have um, spearheaded these sort of efforts. I do think it has a long way to go, though. Just like any other technology, though, I think that this is just the beginning. There's so much that can be done with the device and, again, with this platform. And I really am looking forward to seeing what's next. I don't know what's next for Gallery Glass yet, but I would really like to see the series continue. Like I said, I think that this is only the beginning. I think there's a lot of opportunity here to not only take advantage of what the device has to offer, but again, really build on new ways for people to educate themselves or educate their peers about art. So I think that the next phase will be even grander. Right now, the device, just like the series, is in its beta phase. You know, um, it's still evolving. So 30 Arts in 30 Days was a really wonderful, exciting idea, and I, I am looking to continue it. Maybe not one per day, per se, but as long as I can exhibit a range of artists, a range of artistry, um, and a range of creatives. Also, right now, I stayed local in New York, but this platform has a lot of potential, so I would like to, to expand the boundaries of that. I was accepted to the Google Glass Explorer program um, through invitation. As of right now, to my knowledge, there is about 8,000 people in the program, the first 2,000 of which, um, to my understanding, were all developers who were invited to the program to um, help develop the device. Um, and the rest of us, the other 6,000, are explorers. And it's, it's funny, you know, I've come to realize that a lot of people who are in possession of the device aren't necessarily taking advantage of it. You know, they're using it for its intended purpose, taking calls, um, accessing the internet, really as a, you know, as a ubiquitous uh, computer. But I thought to myself, what a lost opportunity it would be to not really, sh you know, show the, the range of this device. And although I don't believe the, um, the intended purpose is documentation, and I do think the video um, the video component has a long way to go. Um, I'm really glad that I that I got to experiment with that aspect of the, that aspect of the device. The artists that I chose to work with for now, like I said, are all local New York based artists, with the exception of Tony Falcone, who is in Prospect, Connecticut. Um, while there is some element of curatorial to this initial um, phase of Gallery Glass, I wanted to really focus on exhibiting a range of artists, a range of creatives. We started off with Christian Ruiz Berman, um, Bushwick-based artist, and then capped it with Keith Schweitzer, um, the Director of Public Arts at Fourth Arts Block, and the really exciting annual event that they have. And I think, every, you know, throughout the, throughout the series, I was able to tap into a lot of different mediums, a lot of different artists, and was very successful in getting to know them, getting to know their work, getting to know their process. And, and really, that's what this is all about, sort of um, shifting the paradigm of the way people access art, 
breaking barriers, breaking misconceptions, really allowing the audience to get to know the artist. And I also think um, beyond the arts education aspect, I think it will help potential buyers, potential art lovers, really getting to know their work. Whereas, you know, um, where whereas people might have been familiar with the 30 artists that I worked with throughout the series, maybe they weren't as familiar with what goes into creating the work. They've seen their work on the gallery walls, but having gotten to hear their story and what really goes into goes into the process.